Hello, George B. Cards and Stuff, back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I've made this card in pink, it's for my card pals. Um, as obviously the month of May is pink. And I've used a new stamp set, Quiet Meadow. And I'm just using that image there, the flowers. The sentiment came from many messages and if you've watched my previous videos you know I stamped out and cut a load out and this just says just a card to say hello. The butterfly has come from the butterfly brilliance not the stamp set but the dies and I used this big die just to cut out this little um, butterfly there and this intricate butterfly the smallest one and I cut them out in vellum and this is my intricate butterfly but it is cut out on the same uh, background and I'll show you how I've done the background in a minute. I have got card bases. I've got a Blushing Bride card base of 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 eighth, scored at 5 and 7 eighths. I have two pieces of white cardstock, one, uh, both of them at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths for one for the inside and one for the outside. I have also cut out, on this one I didn't cut it out, I added just a pink strip because I didn't want the white straight on the pink when I did it. So what I did, I cut out the pink Blushing Bride using the ornate layering dies and I used this big one here this one. Oh, we got, uh, oh, it's forever greenery on the other side. And then I've cut out a piece of white just to go on the inside where I do my stamping. And I still get my pink border. This bit measures two and three eighths, I'm sure. No, two and a quarter by five and a quarter so it's two and a quarter by five and a quarter and it sits nice inside there so that is our card stock let me just move that so I could see what I'm doing so first of all we're going to do our background and our stamping and we also need a scrap of for the butterfly. I'll do. Right. First of all, we're going to stamp our flower and let that dry while we do our background. And I just stamp this in the middle of this piece. Like that, and just leave that to dry. And we'll colour that in afterwards. Now, for the background, you need some Blush and Bride ink, and believe it or not, a piece of cling film. I have some cling film here. I need a piece big enough for the card. Mine's a little bit bigger, and I'm just gonna scrunch it up. Not too much because it's got to be as wide as the card. Just like that. Then I'm going to, with my blushing bride, I'm just going to ink the paper, uh, the cling film. Like that. 
pop that on top and with a bit of paper just wipe it off rub it all over and lift it off as you can see I've got a lovely um, pattern and if you see bits where it hasn't got ink on it just take it and lift the ink every one will turn out different see this one is a little bit lighter than that one but it's still nice I think it is and then with your scrap just run that over and pick up the secondary ink it's not very dark so what I'm going to do lay some more and rub it on that's come out darker you most probably can't see it in the light with it being a light ink but what I will do I will pick this up I'm going to turn it over let me go and get a darker ink um, let's use Misty Moonlight get another piece of card paper I'll lift this off hey ma could you see it better on a dark background and then if you do I'm not going to use this because I've already cut out my butterfly do it again and you get a light colour So that was how I got my background using clean film. I throw it away. So you can see, well, you you can't very well. You can might be able to see it. What if I turn that light off? Can you see it better? Don't know. I think it's quite a nice background. I'll save that and use that on another card. So that is our background. And then with this, I did cut out that small butterfly, which I got this with. It went with that. I'll save that as well. So that is our card back done. A card back card front so I'm going to glue that she says and I didn't have the lid on my glue and it's top is all dried over Don't know why I glued that bit. Never mind. And then that will sit on there. In fact, I'm going to put it on this side this time. So Let's bring back, let's put the lid on, bring back this and we'll quickly colour this in. So I've got 
my pink which is filled with Brush and Bride ink and just colour this in nothing fancy just colouring it in adding the colour to the flowers You'll see this Monday the, hmm, it's the 1st of May today. So you'll see this Monday the 10th, I think, or 9th. Could be the 9th. Because as soon as I've made these, after I've finished filming, I shall get my husband to post them. Walk to the end of the road and put them in the post box. One's got to go to France and one's got to go up north. Right, I'm using Granny Apple Green on the leaves. Colour these all in. I never coloured last month's, uh, filmed last month's card, which was yellow. But, right, I've got dark granny apple green, and just do the stems. in the dark This one. And what we do, we just glue that on there. Nothing fancy. And this we're going to put on there with dimensionals. So, bring in my dimensionals. of them. I'm going to pop this. Like I said, we're going to pop this on this side. Even a little border there. Let's pop this inside card in. on there what we need is a dimensional there and 
and a little bit of glue that and just pop that there. Now our butterfly I'm going to glue the body brought this one up. I'm going to bring the wings up but what I've got to do is release the antennas so that you can bring the body up and then glue the butterfly in the middle. And that is just going to sit down there. trailer glue down there because we are going to add some gems I think I can get four on here I'll put them close enough together And then three round the um, edge, like that. And that is our card done. Oh, Sam, or um, more or like them. It's going to be potluck who gets which one because I will just put them in an envelope and address them afterwards. And then I won't know who's got what until they send the photos in. <laughs> well, if you like them, please subscribe. Um, please leave a comment and a like and share if you want and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.